Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the requirements uh, feature in the StarCraft 2 editor. So first what you want to do is open up the data module. Then you'll see there's a uh, tab that says requirements. So I will click on that. So what requirements do is they basically allow you to use abilities in different ways. They, uh, you can limit how they're used or you can uh, make it so you have to have certain things before you can use it. For example, like for Blink, you have to upgrade the Blink upgrade before you can use Blink. That is a requirement. So first I'll show you how to do that. So you want to add a new requirement. I'm just going to make some random things for this. Um, you can pretty much leave most of this how it is and press OK. So now what you want to do is go over to this requirement thing. You want to modify it and then some things will pop up. What these mean is if you put things under the use the ability will still show up in the command card, which is the uh, box in the bottom right corner when you're in game. Those will just be grayed out and you won't be able to use them until the requirement is true. The show are conditions that when they are true, the ability will show up in this command card in the bottom right. And when it's not true, the ability will not show up. So it will just be blank. There will be nothing there. So for this one, I do want the ability to appear there and just be grayed out until it's able to be used. So for Blink, you want to add a new one under the Use, and you'll see a bunch of things under this drop-down menu. What you want for this one is Count Upgrade. What this will do is it will count how many of an upgrade you have or whether you've completed an upgrade. So you want to find the Blink upgrade. Um, I'm gonna take a look for it. Stalker Blink. And then you want to go down to the State drop-down menu, and you want Completed. So when the upgrade is completed, you can now use it. So then press OK. But then you're not done. The uh, You have this requirement but the ability is not using it. So what you have to do is go back to the Abilities tab, find your Blink, which this already has a requirement because it's default in the game, but I'll show you where it is. You have to go to the Execute command, and then scroll down to the thing that says Requirements, and as you can see, it has a thing already that says Use Blink. But if you were making your own, you just search for the name, you click on it, and then press OK. But I'm not going to because there's already one there. Um, also, what you can do is, I'm going to go back to my requirement. If you want, let's say you don't want them to be able to use Blink until maybe uh, three Marines have been created because somehow you can have marines and stalkers on the same map. But uh, this is just an example. So what you would want to do is I'm going to remove this under the same use. You want to add a new one. And you want to do equals. And then you want to add another one. That is count unit this time. And then you want to find marine completed and then you want to under the equals you want another thing that says uh, constant and I'm going to change that to 3 so what that does is that when there are 3 marines completed then uh, you can use this ability so then you push OK and then once again, if the uh, actual ability does not have it yet, you have to add it to the ability like I just showed you before. You have to 
go in to the commands and uh, find the requirement. So, um, also, if you wanted, I can show you the same thing. If you wanted it to just not appear until three marines are uh, completed, all you have to do is do the same thing down here, and then uh, you can't, we, you won't be able to see it until this is true. So that's how you use requirements. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you later.